Grab the most fabulous looking carrot that you've ever seen. Cut them into half and then into small round moons. And then into wee strippity bippities. And then just keep stacking them on top of each other until you have a lovely pile of stippity bippities. Grab a bag of pickled plums. Make sure you grab the snack version of these and not the actual version of these. This snacky version has a lot more moisture taken out of them. So they're super crunchy. Once you've chopped them up nice and fine, grab one half of a bunch of shimeji mushrooms and just peel them apart a bit. Now this might be a little bit hard to get, but this is Nuka Pickled Soury. Do your best to find it. Give them a quick rinse and you're ready. So let's head off to the flame. Add in your rice, along with a few more cups of water, then you did add rice. A packet of pre-made dashi stock, two tablespoons of sake, two tablespoons of mirin, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and a big old mixity mix. In goes your carrots, your mushies. Making sure everybody is nice and spread out in there. And then all of your pickled plumity plums, a sprinkling of shio kombu, and then lay in your fish. And once you've got them perfectly set, pop on the lid and cook as normal, which is bring to the boil, leave it on a low heat for five minutes, turn off the heat entirely and leave for 20 minutes covered. Now while that's bubbling away, add in 500 ml of soy milk into a saucepan, dissolve in a dollop of miso, and a tablespoon of parmesan cheese. Sprinkle that bad boy in. Give everybody a nice mixity mix and don't skip rinse Now it's time for the big reveal. Take out your fish and then take out any extra bones, which would include this guy's spine. So cut along just as you would fill it and then do your best to add those fillets nice and neatly back to the pot. You can definitely eat these bones, I'm just a wimp. Place them back on nicely. Now that you've so delicately laid them on top, we're gonna grab our trusty lighter and we're gonna sear those skins. You are most definitely supposed to fry these off first, but we didn't do that. So, lighter it is. And then just give everybody a lovely, quick squish and mix. Grab a heat bead and bowl of it. <laughs> so you can eat it just like this. And it's a super tasty way to get those fish and veggies back into your diet. But don't even forget about that soy milk sauce that we made. Give that a nice pour over and... Now I really like this one, mainly because I really like cheese. This sauce really mellows out all of those flavors. So if you tried it without the sauce and you weren't too impressed, you should definitely try it with it. But like, subscribe, maybe leave us a comment down below, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.